Good evening, esteemed television watchers. Nakjivan News program in English is on air. A number of memorable events happened in the Autonomous Republic over the last week. The most memorable one among them was the European Days in Nakjivan. The Supreme Medalist Chairman of Nakjivan Autonomous Republic, Mr. Vasiv Talubov, met the head of the European Union delegation in Azerbaijan and also ambassadors of the member states of the European Union visiting Nakjivan. Along with this, any asphalt concrete plant was inaugurated in the Autonomous Republic. Further more information in our official news blog. On September 17th, the Chairman of Supreme Majlis of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, Mr. Vasiv Talubov, signed a decree on honorary culture workers. According to the decree, Aliyeva Gunay Farhat Gaze, Aliyeva Ilaha Yavar Gaze, and Askar of Mehmet Samadoglu were awarded honorary title of honored worker of culture for fruitful activity in the field of culture in Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic. On September 20, the Ashura ceremony took place in Nakhchivan Juma Mosque. The Supreme Majlis Chairman of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, Mr. Vasiv Talubov, participated in the very ceremony. At the ceremony, sentences from the Holy Quran were prayed and also repast was served. On September 21st, Nakjivan State Automobile Road Agency New Asphalt Concrete Plant was put into operation. The Supreme Majlis Chairman of Nakjivan Autonomous Republic, Mr. Vasiv Talubov, attended the inauguration ceremony and launched the plant in the operation room. It was informed that the area covering three hectares was installed German-made facilities. The plant is busy with asphalt producing and different sand pits. Products managed automatically are distinguished for their quality. Energy waste in the plant is regulated with the amount of the produced asphalt and extra waste isn't considered. Along with the stone cutter, six bitume tanks with the capacity of 50 tons were installed. Based on the grant contract between Azerbaijan and China, a Dongfeng brand self-unloader with small capacity, also a large volume loader of Belarus were given to the use of state automobile agency. Then the Supreme Majlis Chairman presented the keys to the techniques. Also in the yard of the very plant, a store for the spare parts, also a subsidiary building for constructed. The subsidiary the building includes a kitchen, canteen, a smith shop, and also other service rooms. On September 22nd, the chairman of Supreme Majlis of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, Mr. Vasiv Talubov, met the head of the European Union delegation to the Autonomous Republic, Kestutis Yankauskas, and also the ambassadors of European Union member states to Azerbaijan to take part in European days held in Nakhchivan. The chairman of Supreme Majlis expressed his satisfaction with their visit to Nakhchivan, and also European days in Nakhchivan is a sign of confidence to the Autonomous Republic. Then the Supreme Majlis chairman gave information on the territory, population, governance, structure, and also social economic development of the Autonomous Republic. He also stressed out the state care in educational field in Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic. Zaire upon the head of the European Union delegation to Azerbaijan, Kestutis Yankowska thanked for the hospitality and also created conditions for the European days. Speaking about the relations between Azerbaijan and European Union, Kestutis Yankowskas once more emphasized that development in the Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, particularly in educational field, is visible and it will enable furthermore cooperation in future. Ambassador of Finland Arya Maknein, Ambassador of Denmark Svend Oling, Ambassador of Greece Nikolas Kanellas, Ambassador of Hungary Nikola Yankov, and also Belgian Ambassador Berskuts expressed their pleasure from their visit to Nakhchivan. At the end, a memorial photo was taken. As we mentioned before, on September 21st, 23rd European Days was held in Nakhchivan. 
The most tremendous event in the debate before was one of the unforgettable events holy for Nakhchivan. In the European city, a concert program in the open air as well as exhibitions belonging to Azerbaijan and also different European countries were organized. Thereupon, guests to Nakhchivan from different European countries watched the exhibition pavilions in Nakhchivangala Historical Architectural Museum complex. So, let's have a look. The press conference on the occasion of the European Days in Nakhchivan was held with the participation of the head of the European Union delegation to Azerbaijan, Kestutis Yankauskas, and other ambassadors of the European countries to Azerbaijan. The very conference was held at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Azerbaijan in Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic. Belgian ambassador noted that already the Belgian companies participate in the alternative energy sources in Nakhchivan. Foreign language course and also conference was held at Nakhchivan State University with the participation of a group of European ambassadors. Lessons in Germany, Spanish, Italian, Greek, English were held in the course at the very training. They also visited secondary schools operating in Nakhchivan. During the meeting, the ambassadors gave detailed information about the activities of the European Union and their countries to the students. Presentations were held through electronic boats. Also booklets of the official opening ceremony of the European city were distributed to the students. Then the guests watched the conditions of the secondary schools and also educational process in the schools. Within the framework of the European Days, the European City Festivity was held at the Nakhchivangala Historical Architectural Museum complex. In connection with the event, the walls of the Nakhchivangala Historical Architectural Museum complex was decorated with the flags of the member countries of the European Union, and also a number of entertaining programs were organized for children. At the very event following the Anthem of the Republic of Azerbaijan, the Anthem of the European Union was played. The Youth and Sports Minister of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, Azad Jabbarov, welcomed the guests and noted that the very event has significant importance for the promotion of Nakhchivan. Then the European Union and also 17 EU member states participating in the event exhibited their national attributes as well as their national clauses in the pavilions and also distributed booklets dealing with their tourism potential. The concert program in the open air rejoiced the participants. The Ministry of Education of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic held a meeting with young teachers recruited by the State Employee Commission under the Chairman of Supreme Majlis of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic. At the meeting, the main duties and objectives of the teachers in secondary schools were highlighted and also relevant methodical manuals were provided. Measures on the development of social economic spheres in previous years in the Autonomous Republic continued in January-August of 2018, and the development was maintained. The state statistics committee employee Reza Tariyev reported on this. In this period, gross domestic product amounted 1,757,595,450 minutes, and that's 1.4% more than the same period of the previous year. During this period, gross domestic product per capita increased by 2.2% and exceeded 3,872 minutes. The conference on the current results of expeditions and archaeological excavations held in Nakhchivan was held at Nakhchivan Department of the Azerbaijan National Academy of Sciences. Members of local and international expeditions attended the conference and they reported on the succeeded results.
On September 18th, new Embraer E190 belonging to Buta Airways was delivered to Azerbaijan. The new airplane will enable the airline to perform additional flights to more destinations in the flight schedule. The new airplane of Buta Airways was named Gunut in the honor of the village of Gunut, which was recently liberated from Armenian occupation in Shadow region. It should be emphasized that in the world practice, airplanes are typically named after major cities and great personnel. It is for the first time the newly purchased aircraft in Azerbaijan was named after a village. Traditionally, the new aircraft was welcomed at Hydra Aliyev International Airport. Special guest of the welcoming ceremony was Nasib Novruz of Ginnut Village resident together with the chairman of the Azerbaijan Airlines closed joint stock company Jahangir Askarov. And after the welcoming, a brief video clip was screened at the event. On September 20, the mobile support project of Azerbaijan with partners in transition was inaugurated. In this regard, the training on establishing a profile and defining identity in border checkpoints was held in Tabriz Hotel of Nakchivan City. The training was attended by the employees of the State Border Service and State Migration Service International Experts from the Netherlands and Czech Republic. The training was attended by the employees of the State Border Service and State Migration Service and also international experts from the Netherlands and Czech Republic. The project lasted for two days. The Ministry of Labor and Social Protection of Population of Nakchivan Autonomous Republic held one more enlightening seminar on the application of the Electronic Information System for the Labor Contract Notification. At the seminar attended by 38 representatives from 35 enterprises, information was provided on the subjects through videotapes and slides. Next seminars were held in Babak and Julfa regions. According to the relevant item of the regulations on the State Transport Service of Nakchivan Autonomous Republic, medical examination of bus drivers pre-starting to work was planned. In this regard, necessary works were carried out by the State Transport Service in this direction and a medical examination room was set up in Nakchivan City Transportation Department. This event will be continuously carried out every morning. Training on the organization of blood donation without any loss on the upcoming Ashura Day and also transfer of the donated blood to the Central Blood Bank was held at Nakchivan Autonomous Republic Hospital. Medical personnel were clearly explained practically the process of blood taking, packaging, closing, storing and sending to the appropriate address in the training. Afterwards, participants' questions were responded thoroughly.
On September 20, on the occasion of Ashura Day, in all mosques of our autonomous republic, blood donations were held. Following the tests, the donated blood would be delivered to the patients suffering from hemophilia and thalassemia, as well as to the patients in operative surgery. Event on the organization of insurance affairs and the forthcoming tasks were held in Jofa region. At the very event, participants were informed about the organization of insurance affairs in the previous years and also the forthcoming tasks were discussed. Tokyo's famous Avim company started operating in Nakjivan. One of the main advantages of the very trade brand dealing with sale of electronic goods, furniture sets, is the reasonable price. Dulim village residents of Ordubat region hosted the event held on the Ecological Legal Enlightenment. Representatives of the administrative territorial circle municipalities and also reputed people of the village were informed about the fines and other administrative measures in this area and also the way of solution of the violated rules explained. Within the framework of the state program on the development of beekeeping in the Autonomous Republic in 2017-22, a practical conference was held with the participation of beekeepers in Oglangala village center of Sharu region. At the practical conference, beekeepers' questions were clarified in detail and memory books were distributed. This year, the Autonomous Republic gained the rich cone product that was expected since its growing. Cone harvesting in Shadow region is realized timely and without any loss. Along with this, in the Autonomous Republic, autumn cultivation plowing in the fields goes fast. Exhibitions entitled Azerbaijan People's Republic 100 and also Nakhchivan, the capital of Islamic culture, were organized in the libraries of all comprehensive schools of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic and its demonstration was held to the students. The video slides and films dealt on heroes to have been killed for the territorial integrity of the Republic of Azerbaijan, which was committed by Armenian's provocations and atrocities directly against Azerbaijan. An academic conference on 100th anniversary of Academician Hassan Abdullaya was held at Nakhchivan Department of the Azerbaijan National Academy of Sciences. The importance of the event to be held on the 100th anniversary of Academician Hassan Abdullayev, who has great contributions in the promotion of the country's scientific potential and achievement along with this training of highly qualified staff was highlighted at the conference. An interactive lesson was held at the Nakhchivan Department of Azerbaijan National Academy of Sciences. The lesson was dedicated to the 100th anniversary of prominent physicist Hassan Abdullayev. The interactive lesson was watched at 214 secondary schools of the Autonomous Republic. Nakhchivan branch of the Azerbaijan National Academy of Sciences held a scientific conference on Baba Neymatullah Nakhchivani and medieval Islamic culture. Speaking at the conference, the chairman of the department, academician Ismail Hajiyev, an associated member of Azerbaijan National Academy of Sciences, Hajjah Fakhreddin Seferli, also Abelfaz Guliyev, philosophy doctor and philologer Ramiz Gassimov, Sabuhi Ibrahimov and Nergiz Ismailov Amiz Sara speeches about the life and creativity of Baba Neymatullah. Discussion of the works Love of Life by Jack London and The Old Man and the Sea by Ernest Hemingway was held in the Central Scientific Library of Nakhchivan branch of Azerbaijan National Academy of Sciences. On the occasion of the September 15th, the Knowledge Day in the Equestrian Recreation Center, entertaining programs were organized for children. 
Scandal on the terror attack is on March 1, 2008 deepens in Armenia, where breakup is felt deeply in all spheres. New facts were revealed after the investigation. Jomanak newspaper heralds that Yuri Khatsaturov, one of the participants of the first March events to be dismissed from the post of Secretary General of the Collective Security Treaty Organization. In Armenia, who lives deep crisis in all spheres along with human rights, media freedom is also violated. Journalists are persecuted and the press organs are close with lame excuses. The Armenian law enforcement agencies conducted next search operations at the office of Yerevan Today news site and also at editor-in-chief's home. The number of suicides and assassinations among the soldiers increased in the aggressive country, and it caused demotivation among the Armenians. Protest actions are underway in the aggressive country. Even Yerevan State University students began to strike. Rector's resignation is their basic demand. Boundless Reporters Organization has sharply criticized the search conducted by the Yerevan Today website for officials' voice record and even it was regarded as the formation of a new dictatorship regime in Armenia. September 18th is celebrated as the National Music Day all over the country, and a number of events, also concert programs, were held on this occasion. Along with this Nakhchivan State Musical Drama Theatre started its new theatrical season. Let's have a glance to our final news block. Nakhchivan State Musical Drama Theatre, named after Jalil Mehmet Gulzadeh, hosted an event dedicated to National Music Day. The Minister of Culture of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, Natavan Gadimova, congratulated all participants and also the music community, particularly on the occasion of the National Music Day, and once more emphasized the done works in the development of our musical art in the Autonomous Republic. A concert program dedicated to the National Music Day was performed respectively. An exhibition was organized in Nakhchivan State Art Gallery with the participation of pupils studying painting in children's music art and artistic schools of the Autonomous Republic in connection with the National Music Day. Ten pupils attended the exhibition with their paintings dedicated to the National Music Day, and also participants of the event watched the exposition of the gallery. Nakhchivan State Musical Drama Theatre, named after Jalil Mehmet Gulzada, started its 136th theatrical season. The collective of the theatre performed Ali and Nino by Vilna, playwright, honored art worker Ali Emerly. At Nakhchivan State Puppet Theatre, named after Mehmet Tagha Sidgi, performance based on great Azerbaijani playwright Abdullah Shaikh's work Fox is in Hajj pilgrimage was watched. On the occasion of Nakhchivan's being the capital of Islamic culture for 2018, an excursion of the youth to the Garabaglar Tomb Complex was organized, and about 20 students from Nakhchivan State Technical College attended the excursion. Friendly competition on cross-running was held between Shahbuz and Nakhchivan teams under the motto Let's say no to harmful habits, let's always be healthy. The competition attended by altogether 50 athletes, including males and females. Diplomas and gifts were presented to the winners of the competition by the organizers. Dear television watchers, that was all for today. Our next program full of information and news is over. Thanks for being with us. Goodbye.